When selecting the right Vortec Airjet, the solution can be as unique as your specific application. In this video, we will go through each of the 901 series of Transvector Airjets from Vortec and when you would want to choose each. The 901A offers 6 ounces of thrust and should be used for general blow-off or cooling applications. It produces a slightly higher amplification ratio than the other 901 models, so it creates greater total airflow for cooling. The 901DA offers 14 ounces of thrust and should be used for blow-off applications that require a very focused output airstream or more output thrust than the 901A is required. The output thrust is more than two times that of the 901A, but it also uses more compressed air. The 901BA offers 6 ounces of thrust and should be used for conveying applications. The 901BA has 3 quarter inch or 19 millimeter diameter collars at both the suction and discharge ends so that a 3 quarter inch hose or ducting can be attached to it. This makes the unit an inline conveying device. The 901BA has an inside diameter of 0.4 inches or 10 millimeters so it can be used to convey small parts, granules, pellets, smoke, or fumes. The 901HA offers 14 ounces of thrust and should be used where an inline conveying version of the 901DA is desired. The 901HA has a 3 quarter inch suction collar and both 3 quarter inch and half inch diameter discharge collars. The 901HA produces more vacuum than the 901BA. The 909A offers a range of 2 to 17 ounces of thrust and should be used in applications that the 901DA would normally be used in, but where the output thrust needs to be varied frequently. The 909A's thrust and air consumption are easily varied by a simple turn of the outlet, unlike the other 901 models which require a shim change. The 909A can also be used as an experimental nozzle when the required blow-off force is not known. It can also be easily disassembled for cleaning. To learn more about Vortec Airjets, visit www.vortec.com.